Hi guys, this is Miss Stoop, and today we are going to talk about slope intercept form from graphs. So we are starting fresh with our notes. This is going to be notes page one for us, and let's get started. So before um, Christmas break, we were talking about slope intercept form, which is an equation of the form y equals mx plus b. In a proper slope intercept form equation, m and b are supposed to be numbers and y and x stay as variables or letters. We also learned that m and b represent something. So m represents the slope of a graph and this means that's the steepness of a line. And we learned that B represents our Y intercept. So this is where our line crosses the Y axis. So today what we're going to do is we are going to have a graph of a line where we have, you know, our X and our Y axis. And let's just say we have this line. What we are going to do is find our y equals mx plus b equation for this um, by doing a few steps. And I have four specific steps. Step number one is to mark two points on the line. So let's just say we're going to mark this point and this point. This is just a sketch. This is not going to be our actual exact problem. Step two is going to be to find our m equals rise over run. So that's when we're going to start at our farthest left point. We're going to find how many up or down and how many over to the right we have to go. And we'll draw our little slope triangle and calculate our fraction and make sure it's fully reduced. Step three is going to be to find the Y intercept. And this is where our line is going through the Y axis. So here is our y-axis this this line right here and where that blue point is is where our line is going through the y-axis so that's going to be a number our last step step four is to write our y equals mx plus b equation where m and b are supposed to be a number so now we are going to get into some examples so our first example here, we are trying to find our y equals uh, mx plus b equation where m and b are supposed to be a number. So when we were writing our step, step number one said we needed to have two points. So on this particular problem, we actually already have two points marked on the line for us. So I'm just going to um, write blue over those two dots. So next, we have to find our m equals rise over run. So we have to start at our furthest left dot, which is actually going to be the one that's um, farther up. And so this line has negative slope, so we're actually going to have to go down and then go over first. So down and then over. So now we're going to count how many we had to go down and then how many we had to go over and then we're going to make our slope fraction. So starting at four, we're going to count down one, two, three. So our top number of our fraction is going to be negative three since we went down three. Our bottom number is how many over. So we're going to start at the corner of our triangle and we're going to go over one, two. So our bottom number is two. In your calculator, you are going to check to make sure this fraction is fully reduced, but we also want to keep it improper, which means it needs to be a top-heavy fraction. So in your calculator, you're going to type negative 3 ABC2 and hit enter. This will give you um, negative 1 and 1 half, which we don't like mixed numbers. We like improper fractions. So with that in your calculator, you're going to hit second, 
ABC and equals and it will actually change it back to negative 3 over 2 because it was already reduced. So that is our M. So, so far in our Y equals MX plus B equation, we have Y equals negative 3 over 2X. So now we just need to find our B. So I'm actually going to erase what I have on this graph so far so that we can clearly see what information we still need. So our B comes from our y-intercept, which is where our line intersects with the y-axis. So we're going to look at our line here and see where those two cross. So we can actually see those two cross right there, which the number right next to that is the number 4. So our B equals 4. Which means in our equation, since it's a positive 4, it's going to be a plus 4. So our final equation for this line is y equals negative 3 halves x plus 4. So our line has negative 3 halves a slope, and then it, it ooh, intersects with the y-axis at positive 4. So now we're going to do... A different example let's go to number three here on my paper so once again we're trying to find a y equals mx plus b equation where m and b have to be numbers step number one said we need two points on the graph and we already have those step number two is to find our m equals rise over run so on our graph, we have to start at the furthest left point, which is going to be the lower one this time because our line is positive. So first we're going to go up, then we're going to go over. Now we just have to count how many up we go. So starting at that point, we're going to go up one, two, three. So our top number is a positive three, and we only have to go over one. So our bottom number is one. This fraction... Hopefully you know any number with a 1 on the bottom is a whole number, so this is a whole number 3. So, so far our equation is y equals 3x. So next we need to find our b, which is where our line is intersecting, hold on, there we go, with the y-axis. So here's our y-axis. And you want to find where the y-axis and our line are intersecting. So they are intersecting right there where I highlighted, which is next to a positive 2. So our b equals 2, which means the rest of our equation is going to be plus 2. So the equation for this line is y equals 3 halves x plus 2. That tells us our line is fairly steep. It, our slope is positive 3, and it's intersecting with the y-axis at 2. So now we're going to talk about a special case. So um, we have two special cases when we're talking about slope. One is when we have a slope of 0, which means our line is just um, straight across. It has no steepness at all. The other type of special case is when we have a slope that is undefined, which is when we have so much slope that it's pretty much impossible to count. It's like a cliff side. So with this particular example, we actually have zero slope because our line, let's outline it a little bit better, is um, completely flat. So it has no slope at all. So when we have zero slope, um, it's actually really easy to write our formula. We don't have to mark two points. We don't have to find our rise over run. We already know that our m is 0. The only thing that we have to find is our b. So if we look here, here's our y-axis. And I'm going to outline it in blue. We're seeing that the line and the y-axis are intersecting there, which is just below the x-axis, so it's intersecting at b equals negative 1. 
So in our equation, our b is going to be minus 1. And it's very important not to put plus minus 1, just a minus 1. So now what we're going to do is actually get rid of the 0x, because if we have 0x's, it's not really necessary to write it. And we will actually just have y equals negative 1. And that's our final answer for any zero slope graphs is just our y-intercept. Um, undefined slopes are the opposite way. So I'll just sketch you to the side here what this would look like. We would have a graph like this where our line is straight up and down. And as you can see, it never goes through the y-axis. The y-axis is over here, our line is all the way over there. So undefined lines are special because they actually have an x-intercept. So our equation for undefined lines are going to be x equals something. This time, let's just make up a number. It's going through here. Let's say that's 2. So our equation would be x equals 2. And that is how you handle the special cases. I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. And I will see you later. Bye.